Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A and I thought today I'd do something I haven't done for a little while. It's been a couple of years since this particular tag went around and it is like the top product from 20 different brands. Uh, this went around a couple of years ago and then I just watched um, She, she just did her favorite top 20 from drugstore brands, but I have a top 20. These are products that I reach for all the time. And so I just picked one from each brand that I feel is like their top product. And I hope that um, maybe it'll make you think about some and put some in the comments that you think should be a top product from a brand. But let's start this off. I'm going to do them alphabetically. So you're going to see that I have skipped over a couple of the brands for one reason or another. I'm going to start it off with Benefit because I use this almost every day. This is the 24 hour brow setter and this is irreplaceable. It's just a plain clear gel that you just put over your brows and it keeps them in place, keeps them separated, keeps them looking uh, really, really nice. And I think that this is something that um, I wouldn't have used even five years ago because I didn't think brows were a big deal. And you know, when I was in the 70s in my prime, I guess you could call it my prime. My prime is now. I think wherever you are now is your prime. <laughs> Just think of it that way. Um, but when I was younger, in my teens and 20s, brows were something you plucked out and made a thin, thin line. You had to look like a 1930s actress and that was kind of like the style. So. Brow products weren't really a thing other than a brow pencil, which you drew in your brows after you basically either shaved them off or plucked them out. So, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. So that's Benefit. Um, the next one is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you know, I, I, I couldn't decide between the lip products and the um, eyeshadow palette. I do reach for this all the time, and this is the, um, this is the Sophisticate. Uh, eyeshadow palette and what it is is it's a basic the four colors you need to make the perfect basic eye and I grab for this all the time and when I travel to Reno coming up in another month or so I'm bringing this with me because this is like the perfect it's got a mirror on one side and it's got these four good basic colors um, I think that this is like one of the best products she has next to her lipsticks and I think if I have to choose one or the other, I'm going to have to choose this. I think this is just an outstanding product from Charlotte Tilbury. From Clinique. This is the Melon Pop Lipstick. The Pop Lipstick formulation from Clinique, I never hear anybody talking about it. I know that it had a minute like a few years ago. Uh, this is the third one I purchased. This is one of my favorite. I'm just going to... Let me just uh, put it this way. This is the Melon Pop. And this formulation, it's very hydrating. It's a nice shade. It lasts a good, good long time. Um, I don't know. Clinique gets a bad rap sometimes with folks on here. Um, you know, you either love it or hate it. There doesn't seem to be any medium range, but I am. I, I don't like some of their products, but I do love these pop lipsticks. And there's another one, too. I think it's a nude pop or naked pop, something like that. Um, but this is, this is a wonderful lipstick and a wonderful lipstick formula. So the Clinique Pop lipsticks are wonderful. For um, color pop, you know, the Super Shock Blush, which I just, I, I used, I don't have it now because I've had so many blushes and I bought that NARS set. I haven't gone back to buy a replacement for it. So, um, but I do want to mention ColourPop because they have a lot of quality items and especially are excelling in the eyeshadow range. They have some wonderful eyeshadow palettes and uh, formulation is always good. This one is the Stone Cold Fox palette, and I believe it may have um, competed for a best palette of the year last year for, for my palettes. I think this has a lot of really good colors in it for some good basic eyes. It's got some slight cool tones, which is nice, because I think as 
I've gotten older anyway, I've gone from a warm to a more neutral tone, um, and I can wear cool tones a lot more than I can wear the really warm tones now. The oranges just don't work on me. The mustard yellows, I hated that sunflower yellow for a while there that was out. In every palette there was like this sunflower yellow color. But this is great. This is the Stone Cold Fox palette, and I'll just put this because it's a good tie with the um, Super Shock blush formulations from ColourPop. From Derma Blends. Um, again, this was something that had a moment with me uh, maybe four years ago. And what these are are foundation drops. I have two different ones because I'm almost out of one and I got another one in a slightly deeper color because it's summertime and I'm going a little bit darker. Uh, I'm not actually going out in the sun. I am self tanning. So, and I definitely need it being my fish belly white state that I'm in right now. <laughs> The Derma Blend Flawless Creator um, Drops. These are pigment drops of foundation. You can put them in with your moisturizer, with your sunscreen, um, anything. You can put them in another foundation to alter the color or to make it a little more pigmented. This is like an all-purpose fix for a foundation. So if you have something that's maybe running a little dark or a little light, you can put a couple drops of this in and mix it in with it and it corrects the color. Uh, you can use it on its own, like four drops will do your whole face. It's quite pigmented and it's a wonderful product. I, I just, I love this, you know, and um, because I do YouTube, I always have foundations. I'm always trying new foundations. I have one on order now from Ulta um, because I'm always still looking for that holy grail and I hate to just throw that holy grail word out there so easily because it really isn't true. With a lot of us YouTubers, we really don't have holy grails because we keep trying new stuff, looking for something better. So how do you get better than a holy grail? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. For Elf, um, it's actually skincare and I know that that is like there are so many products from ELF. I love their cream bronzer and I love those little mini eyeshadow palettes. But this has been extraordinary and I do use this almost daily. And this is the Mint Melt Face Wash. And then this is the Holy Hydration Face Cream. Um, these two things are just, they're a staple now in my skincare routine and it's from ELF. Who knew? You know, a lot of the Makeup brands are coming out with their own line of skincare. This one actually worked. I think this is nice. I work uh, these two especially for Essence. Essence has, I don't like their mascaras. A lot of people do like their mascaras. And I think because maybe I have such extremely hooded eyes, mascaras bat up against my upper lid and leaves dings. Every mascara from Essence does that. So it's got to be young people who don't have that heavy hood are the ones who love it so much and maybe some of you older gals who don't have a heavy hood uh, like it because I have trouble with all of the Essence mascaras and initially they give me this really pretty lash but then like an hour later I see I've got all these little dings and smudges underneath my lash so I can't I can't promote that from Essence so that's not my favorite product. Essence has some great eyeshadows also but this is something that I think is a classic because it is just such a beautiful, let me just see if it, you can even see this. Just build it up here. It's a beautiful, can you see that? Highlighter and it's the Pure Nude Highlighter. Now they have another highlighter that has sparkles in it that I don't use, but I love this one. This is a basic. I think this should be in everybody's uh, kit or everybody's personal home um, makeup because this is just a perfect, it's not too much. You can build it up to be a little bit shinier, but it's not too much. And I think sometimes, especially when you're over 50 and your skin has got a lot of texture on it, uh, whatever you do to your skin over 50, gets exaggerated. It really does get exaggerated and you really don't want to exaggerate color on your face for sure. Fenty. This is the Matchsticks and they have two colors that I really love. This one is Mocha and I use this as a contour. 
Um, there's also one called Amber, which is a more grayer shade if you want more of a shadowy contour. Uh, this is a wonderful product. I have bought this probably four or five times over. And um, I think I prefer the amber shade to the mocha shade, but if you're very, very fair skin, even more fish belly white than I am, you may like the mocha better. But this is a wonderful all over contouring shade. So this is uh, from Fenty Beauty. From Honest Beauty, um, fairly newly discovered uh, about a month and a half ago, this, this is their Extreme Length Mascara. And on one end you have the um, primer that you put on first and then you just unscrew the other end and you've got this wonderful mascara it's a thin line so you can create a really nice big lash you can get close to the lash roots which really helps make your lashes appear longer I think this is one of the best drugstore mascaras out there it's priced between drugstore and high-end uh, you can get this at Target. You can get this on the Honest website, and I'll probably be doing a special on her because uh, Jessica Alba has some wonderful products, and I think this started off as a diaper baby wipe company, and they just kind of developed into a lot more. Um, you know, in similar vein to Flower Beauty, I think Honest Beauty has a bigger uh, grasp of the other markets than. Um, than Flower Beauty does. So I'll probably do a special on this because I'm so impressed with these products. I don't think I've come up with an Honest Beauty product I didn't like. So um, this mascara is just outstanding. It's better than all the other drugstore mascaras, in my opinion, of course. But again, you know, I'm really picky. I like a big honking lash. I like it to last all day because I can't fuss over my makeup. I'm meeting with the public a lot during the day extreme customer service. Um, I work in the cemetery and funeral industry, so I even get teary-eyed at some point through some of the day when you hear some of the stories from these folks. And um, this stuff holds up really well. Now she's no longer part of the company, but everybody likes to call this the, the Kat Von D or the KVD beauty line. It is not Kat Von D. They were silly in the fact that they kept the initials KVD because everybody automatically assumes it's Kat Von D. Uh, she's politically, um, she's kind of a mess right now with a lot of folks and so a lot of people are not buying the products thinking that they're supporting her and her particular belief systems which not everybody believes in. So um, I love this tattoo liner, KVD Beauty. It's stand there's Greek words now they're using for it, you know, Caritas something. Uh, anyway, it's not Kat Von D anymore. She has nothing to do with the company. She left a couple of years ago. Um, it's just the mother company, and they also own other high-end brands as well. They continue to make the KVD tattoo liner, which in Trooper Shade, it's one of the best uh, eyeliners out there. It's easy to draw a line that's straight on your eye, especially if you have a lot of wrinkles. It's a very age-friendly product. And this is my favorite liquid eyeliner of all time. Nothing has come close to this. And I've tried so many other products. You know, it just, it's, it stands alone. So I will continue to buy this and it's the best product from KBD Beauty in my opinion. So, LA Girl, um, I just did a special where I kind of tried several different LA Girl products along with LA Color products. And this one is the one that I actually use almost on a daily basis. And what I use this for, this is the Shockwave eyeliner. I actually use it underneath in my waterline, underneath the lash line on the underneath side. And it draws a line on the underside so it's not a heavy black line on the overside taking up all that precious real estate where I want my lid shade to be. Uh, this is the Shock Wave from LA Girl and the color is Blackout, I believe. Yes, Blackout. The Shock Wave. They also have other shades that are very good. Um, I, I have a navy blue one in their Ultimate Liner and also the Lip Liner in their... Um, perfect precision lip liner. I mean, their, their liners are just so good, but I think the one product, if I had to pick one product from LA Girl, it would be the Shockwave 
uh, eyeliner because you can use it um, in your waterline and it does not transfer down and it and it makes such a nice creamy line I really like that one a lot um, I'm not a real Lancome girl I know a lot of um, youtubers are huge on that brand um, ooh, probably glitzy fritzy is really big on Lancome because she used to always use higher-end products um, Lancome is fairly new to me I think I used some of their lip products a couple years ago and really liked them I never really cared for their their foundation was you know kind of patchy to me but I probably should revisit some of it because my skin cares a little better now this is the um, tint Idol ultra wear all over concealer so I mean the concept is is you can use it as a concealer under your eyes or you know on your face blemishes but you can also use shades of this for um, your foundation I guess as a foundation replacement it's got a huge a huge doe foot here and you can you know I've got a sli slightly deeper shade than my other concealers have been because I wanted to kind of put that to the test where I would use that you know in, as a foundation and now my face is a little too dark but I do like this very much as a concealer it stays put it doesn't roll into the lines um, and it doesn't look cracked in the middle of the day when sometimes you go into the mirror or you go into your car and look in your rearview mirror and you're like Who's that? Who's that in my mirror? Is that my grandma? You know, it's it's um, it's a really nice concealer, and I think um, Lancome really does a good job with this type of thing. So their concealer is my favorite. Mac Mac has a variety of products, and they were really groundbreaking artistically when they first came out in the '80s. Um, I mean, nothing was better than Mac, and they've just had decades of really good product. Now, I think since they sold out to Estee Lauder, uh, the Estee Lauder people aren't really taking the reins in the right direction, I think, because the new the new model for makeup is different than it used to be. I mean, let's face it, after COVID, a lot of us stopped buying a lot of makeup because we weren't going out anywhere, so why buy a bunch of makeup? And we weren't using up our makeup very much because we weren't going out very much. So our whole attitude about makeup became more about less and better quality and good coloring and a lot of the kitschy stuff just wasn't flying and of course MAC kept on with their little sets of specials and, and weird color combinations and I see a lot of their stuff goes on sale. Uh, on the Ulta site you can see a lot of their stuff on sale and it's like, you know, but this is a product that just spans time. This is my third one. And it's very hard for me to go through a blush because I have so many. This is Melba. And this is one of the prettiest blushes. I think it's just an all around healthy looking blush. You just look healthy and bright. And it's not too over the top. And it's a powder blush, it's old school. Uh, there's no mirror with this. I don't care. I really like this. This is wonderful blush from MAC Cosmetics. Maybelline. Um, again, you know, they had the Sky High mascara, which is very nice. They had um, some of their eyeshadows have been good. Some of their face products have been good. But this, to me, is extraordinary. And I have two of them. These are the Lifter Glosses from Maybelline. And, um, let me just put this one on. This is called Sun or Sunny. Some of them put a shine on your lips and some actually have pigmentation enough that they can be a lipstick, a very hydrating and shiny lipstick. Um, and th that one is called Reef, I believe. Yes, Reef and Sun. So that's Reef and Sun. Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful lip gloss, lipstick. It's a hydrating formula. You can up the value of any matte lipstick by putting that sun over the top or even the other one over the top. I think the lipstick glosses are outstanding from Maybelline. 
from Milani. I like their blushes a lot and I thought well what do I reach for more and I, I'm always reaching for this eye primer. I think this eye primer is just amazing. You just need a teeny little drop to do um, both eyes. I mean it just doesn't take very much at all. It's been in my my makeup for years since it came out I think. It's been in my makeup. So um, Milani uh, this is the eyeshadow primer from NYX. NYX is their micro eyebrow pencil. This is like something that is a dupe for the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush. I mean I just love this. It's got a beautiful nice um, spoolie on the other end. I really like this a lot and I think the brow products from NYX rival a lot of high-end stuff as well. And there are some other things from NYX that I like but I just think that the brow products stand out really well. It's a little messy. This is the um, Thick Thick It Stick It I think it's called. Um, but I think the micro brow pencil is something that's really good because you can define little lines and then you can brush it up. And then once you use the 24 hour brow setter from um, Benefit over the top of that, you've really got a nice brow situation going on. Now this has the tint and the goo together in the brush. Um, I think it's a little messier to use. I mean, it's okay, but um, I really prefer the, um, the micro brow pencil from NYX. And I think that's an outstanding item from that brand. Positions formula. Um, there's just it's the butter bronzer. I mean, and you know, you get a mirror in here, you get a goofy little brush. I think I still have it here. Yeah, you get a goofy little sponge brush or whatever with it. I don't use that. Um, the butter bronzer. It's a very subtle formulation. It looks beautiful on the skin. It lasts a long time. Yes, there is that coconut smell. I don't mind it. It reminds me of the beach. It reminds me of summer. And that's what bronzing kind of is. Kind of represents like if you went to the beach. So I love the Physician Formula um, bronzer. The butter bronzer is really, really nice. Just the plain one. I don't have anything special. Um, they do have darker, deeper shades of this. Um, and they do have different flavors that have a slightly different scent. I think there's one that actually smells like buttered toast. Well, I like this one the best. This <laughs> is great. And I think Physicians Formula has a lot of products that really have stepped up. I mean, they have really nice CC and BB creams. They have uh, really nice facial prep oils, um, a nice setting spray. They have, you know, some of their products, not so much, but I really think that they excel in the bronzer area. And I bought this many, many times over. I have so many different types of packaging for this. And they do have a new packaging that's thinner uh, now, which um, I think is a really nice idea. They did it for Earth Day. Real Techniques. I had to mix some of my dirty and clean Real Techniques brushes because I have so many of them. I love this brand. I think Real Techniques is the best brush brand out there. It's just the best because I've washed, like this particular one came in a special set a couple of years ago. Um, I use it as a foundation brush. It has been washed hundreds of times. It has kept its shape. All of the brushes that I've gotten from Real Techniques, right down to the teeny tiny little baby ones, are just outstanding quality. They they go on, they apply product really well, they wash up really nicely, um, and I think that they are just the best, just the best. There's just no, there's no comparison. These are the best. Revlon. I had heard, and it scared me to death, because I thought they were going to close, but they're not. It's, it's actually a paperwork thing behind the scenes, but they did file for Chapter 11 protection. And Revlon, I'm like, Revlon, really? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong. They're releasing new products. I mean, they're, they've got some staples. Everybody has a Revlon product in their collection, I'm sure. I know I have a ton of them. Um, but the one thing I have the most of are the lipsticks. And I think Revlon lipsticks are just outstanding. The soft silver red, the soft silver pink, pink in the afternoon. 
Um, Bear it all, I think, is the um, the fairly light nude shade, but they're just beautiful, beautiful shades. Let me just do them lighter to darker. I couldn't decide what shade I like better, so this is Bear it all. Um, this is pink in the afternoon. Let me see if I can put that one on. Pink in the afternoon really really pretty and that's a classic color um, this is soft silver red which you know almost takes on a corally look and then I believe it is soft silver rose which is more of a um, rosy shade. So it's absolutely a wonderful line. These lustrous lipsticks from Revlon um, are the best. I mean, they're, they're just as good as any high-end lipstick, and I think Revlon does these better than anyone else. I think Revlon, in general, their lip products are better than any of the other drugstore products. Now I know L'Oreal has some really pretty formulations, Maybelline has some really formulations that are good, but what it is is they add a scent to those and I can't stand the smell. The L'Oreal ones are absolutely atrocious smelling and the Maybelline ones as well. Even though I like a lot of the colors and formulations, um, aside from the lifter gloss, I don't like any of the lipsticks from L'Oreal or Maybelline because of the smell they add. So Revlon has it down. I mean, they, they, they know what they're doing. They nailed it. Busy art. Eyeshadow palettes, come on. <laughs> Once you go busy art, you can't go back. Now I have the bridal satins and I have the, um, these are the neutral mattes. And I know that they've recently come out with smaller versions of some of these palettes, so I think they, they either cost a little less or you get a few more colors with them. But between these two, I mean, aside from greens, I, I really could just go by with these two and then just get something that has some greens in it or whatever. But I think these have the perfect shades in them. Uh, the bridal satins have all your shimmer shades that you would want. Um, and then these are your basic warm shades. I also have, uh, you know, the cool palette, which will have, you know, some of your cooler tone uh, shades in there and your white if you want it for your uh, mixing. You know, I even have the, the, the uh, rainbow shades here that have the green satins in them. So, you know, sometimes their specialty palettes have other shades. Uh, here they snuck a green in there. So um, let me just put that on just for fun here in the middle. I'm telling you, once you go Viseart, you don't want to go back. See now I'm matching my now I'm matching my shirt here. If you can see it, but, <laughs> but I love Viseart, and you know I just think the standout product is the palette. I mean their palettes. If you only get one, get the neutrals. If you can get a second one, I'd say get the bridal satins. And then any of their special palettes, uh, I believe this one is uh, Paris Love Letters. Paris Love Letters, um, Pink, Petite, uh, Petite, any of the Petite ones. I think you could get away with just Visi Art palettes and nothing else. I absolutely love them. I stand by them and they are magnificent. So, those are my top 20 brands and the products that I feel are exceptional in them. And I'm sure you have more. There's so many brands out there. Um, I'd love to hear some of the things that you feel are a top product from a brand. So let us know in the comments 
your favorite brands. And um, I do appreciate you watching. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. Maybe leaving a comment below or hitting the thumbs up button. Um, it's always appreciated. It helps my channel a lot. I like the relationship I have with you folks. Maybe less is more in that way. I can speak with you more and I, can, I feel like I know a lot of you. So I hope more of, you, more of you will consider joining the family here, our virtual family. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.